welcome everyone from New York. We have so much to catch up on. <laughs> so obviously I'm back in the city. I'm back at my apartment and I got home like what was it like a week and a half ago maybe two weeks ago obviously I've been posting the vlogs from my trip so I went to France and then the south of France and London and Italy and it was just so amazing and since then I've been back I honestly have just been getting off of the jet lag getting organized getting back into the routine it's like that season now in new york where everyone's kind of done with their summer vacations people are going back to school it's just you know people pe like the college kids are back in the city um and it's just you know that time of year it's also like that transitional weather where it's not quite fall yet but it doesn't totally feel like summer yet so yeah i uh I've just been kind of doing my thing, but I'm excited to be back here with you, back to the New York vlogs. While I haven't been posting the last week or so on YouTube of my life in New York, I have been posting so much on my Instagram, so I've been posting a reel a day for over a month now, so that's a record for me. And yeah, I, I mean, since I've been back, it's been like things from like what I've worn to a work meeting, like a work week work meeting outfit, like my walk in Central Park, going to a sunflower field outside of the city, just like everything like that. So if you're not already on Instagram, definitely go check that out for what I've been up to since I've been back. But anyways, so today is Friday and I've just been doing some work this morning, doing my emails, answering stuff. And then I do have a hair appointment. It's just a quick cut. Um, I did get my hair extensions out, so sad. So I'm still planning to make that other video because I wanted to, for the hair extensions process, I wanted to tell you guys about the whole beginning to end. So I'm gonna talk about that in another video. But yeah, so I do have just a quick hair appointment today for a cut. And then I'm gonna be meeting up with my friend Liz for a quick coffee meetup. So it's gonna be a lovely day and also some fun stuff planned for this weekend, so yay! Hello guys, alright, I'm back from my appointment. The hair is cut shorter. I actually am really happy about it. It was very thin and fine following the extensions being removed. What you're seeing is mostly clip-in extensions. So um, I did just bring my clip-ins and we cut the hair with it. And I was like, let's just go really short. I'm gonna let my hair just um, like recover and just do treatments and stuff and just you know cut off all of the brittle ends so yeah I'm really happy with it and I'm kind of living a little short do I feel like I uh, <laughs> I was just sitting at my vanity and I was like what does it look like with a headband so oof, it's hard to do this with one, <laughs> with one hand but I put in the headband and I'm like I feel like I look like Sabrina from well kind of but you know um, Sabrina from that show on Netflix the uh, Sabrina the Teenage Witch but like the new one um, so yeah, I like it. I'm happy. Uh, but yeah, so plans for tonight. I was going to go get coffee with my friend Liz, but just ended up not having enough time. Plus she was like, can we cancel anyway? So we're moving that to a different day. But, uh, yeah, I don't really know what our plans are for tonight. Lyle and I like have nothing planned, but tomorrow I am going to the U.S. Open with Kendall and Jess. So we got these tickets like months ago. And yeah, I'm really excited to see it. Everyone's always talking about it. It's like the talk of the town. And a bunch of people I know have already been. So I'm excited. This will be my first time going. I've got my outfit picked out. We'll uh, get ready and everything tomorrow morning for that. But uh, yeah, that's the update right now. Okay, hello guys. Good morning. Let's get ready together for the US Open. So last night, didn't miss anything. We stayed in, made dinner, and just watched a movie. <laughs> 
and then this morning I am going to the US Open so I'm really excited it's always it's like a big to do you know like um, celebrities go and they hold events and companies take their clients to the US Open and um, people actually get pretty dressed up for it so that's what's fun to me about it you guys know I'm not really a, I'm <laughs> not even not really I'm like zero sports girl at all I don't follow any sports but I don't know we got these tickets and people get dressed up and so I'm excited about that so I watch a lot of like inspiration of like okay what do I wear because this is my first time going I've never gone and it seems like it's kind of a wide variety of things and you could really kind of take it a lot of different ways especially like celebrities really kind of just wear what they want but in general um, obviously you can wear white that's uh, like traditional tennis um, but not like a tennis skirt because you don't want to show up looking like you are ready to play tennis like you don't want to be too literal like that but something just more I guess kind of put together um, I was considering maybe a white button-down I feel like that's always like a solid easy like go-to for something like this white trousers I have you know I've even seen in some inspiration to wear something like this so this is the like a, a boucle dress from Sandro and it's a little plated on the bottom so that's cute um, I actually saw this dress in your inspiration so this is a dress that I own I, I got this for my engagement party um, it is a dress from theory and it's uh, textured like that and I just love it it's like a, kind of like a shift it's called the ballerine dress so I guess it's just a very classic nice style with the boat neck so that would be cute too and it does have the matching jacket too so I got that to go with it and I just really really love this combination of these two together however <laughs> it is going to be hot outside today it's very humid so I've already done my hair up uh, I put it in a ponytail like a little low ponytail with a Chanel ribbon in it so I thought that, that was cute and it's going to be hot like it's not fall yet I know it's September but it's still really hot in New York so I can't exactly be showing up in a jacket or this this material that would just <laughs> like be really hot in the heat so what I landed on is this white denim dress this is from seven for all mankind and I got it from Saks Fifth Avenue it has some structural details here at the top and it's it's like a mini slash mini length like oh no, no it's definitely a it's definitely a mini length but it's not like mini mini in that it's um you know like too short it's uh it's a good length i think and i just thought that the style was flattering on my body because it kind of balances out the shoulders with the hips <laughs> so yeah that's why i like it so i figure i'll wear this with my hair up i put a ton of hairspray in it so I use this hairspray. This is the Garnier Fructis Sleek and Shine hairspray. This is an anti-humidity hairspray and it says 24 hour hold. So anytime that I that it's a super humid day, I pretty much always just wear my hair up and put it in this hairspray because this is going to hold it. And I have the ultra strong hold number four level. Yeah, and this stuff smells really good. Um, just like all their products. I'm not a big fan of their like their products or anything I just happened to like this hairspray for humidity days so I did that and I'll probably give myself another spritz before I walk out the door but let's do makeup let's see this is good because I have the window right here so I have all this natural light um, oh and I have these flowers by the way because it was Lyle and I's seven year anniversary this week and we went out to dinner and it was really nice and yeah he got me these flowers so I thought that that was very sweet um, but okay, makeup for today I think I'm gonna stick with my go-to for today which is the Elia super serum skin tint this is SPF 40 so since we're outside in the Sun all day that's obviously going to be a must it also has niacinamide in it and hyaluronic acid and squalene so I feel like I kind of need those things today I just always apply this with the dropper and then rub it in with my fingers. I find it's the easiest way to blend this product specifically is just using your fingers. 
because your fingers warm it up and it just spreads easy. It's like putting on a serum or a cream or any other face product because it kind of is because it's like skincare and makeup in one. <laughs> I'm also applying just a tiny bit of concealer the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer. I only do it on spots around my face that I feel like I need it. I don't do it on my under eyes because I feel like that actually makes them look worse. And my only thing with the Elia is that it is very shiny. And I love that, I love a dewy look, but I don't know, today I'm just not really feeling it. So I'm going to use some powder. This is the Wouter from Glossier to just mattify. I still have a little bit of my eyelash extensions left, so uh, I just, I know I'm not supposed to, but I put a tiny bit of mascara on them just to like add a little bit more volume, and then I also put it definitely on my bottom lashes. I do two coats. This is by Chanel. I really like this one because the brush is that like plasticky brush rather than that like brushy brush. You know the type of brush? It's like this, like the spoolie kind of brush and it's very thick. This is very light and thin, and that's why it's perfect for bottom lashes. And it's very precise too, with this very, you know, small like, plastic spoolie. And I've been very happy lately with my go-to combination, which is the NARS Laguna and the NARS Orgasm Blush. I mean, I don't know, this has just been a classic for such a long time, and this is what I was using the entire time on my three weeks in Europe, although in the mini versions. So this is exactly the Laguna and the Orgasm. This is the bronzer and the blush. And because um, obviously this is a lot smaller to fit in my bag than all of this. So uh, yeah, I don't know. And I feel like with the Laguna bronzer, it works better on me when I have a tan, which right now I do have a little bit of a tan. <laughs> so. I don't know, I'm trying to hang on to my tan for as long as possible, but I know that obviously as soon as it gets cold, that's gonna go right away. <laughs> then, for highlighter after my bronzer, then I do highlighter. So this is the Le Blanc Eclat Rosé Sur Monsieur, I, I don't know, Rosy Light Drops <laughs> from Chanel. This is just such a pretty bottle. It's like a light pink, and I just love it. So I've been applying it with this brush this is like a regular concealer brush and I just find that doing that it just I don't know it blends it very very nicely yeah you can see that <laughs> it blends it really well it makes it look like I just have a healthy youthful glow and uh, yeah I'll, I'll leave it linked in the description box along with these other beauty products but blush my favorite part Blush and lipstick are my two favorite parts of doing makeup because I feel like they just pull the whole look together and if you have even just like a little bit of concealer and just those two, it can, it can be a whole look on its own. Like those are the two most important parts in my opinion. I am doing my eyeshadow and I'm following this little shadow that I have in the crease already because for the most natural makeup, I just like to look where are the shadows, where are the highlights, and just follow those that are already happening, happening naturally on my face and where they are hitting my face. And that's how I just end up with the more most natural look. Okay, and then now onto lips. So I just lined my lips quickly with the Charlotte Tilbury, and now I'm using the Chanel Rouge Allure number 194 Sensibility. These Chanel lipsticks with the gold that pop out like this are a very classic like older Chanel lipstick style and I like that when you it up like that it says Chanel on the actual lipstick and you can see that this color is like a reddish brown it's like a brownish red but still with a tiny tint of pink in it so this I actually went into the atelier the beauty atelier and I tried on a bunch of lipsticks and I finally landed on this one and I really like it a pink slash red slash brownish red I don't know it's sensibility it's just all the perfect shades together so that's that I'm going to I think I'm going to grab some breakfast first and then 
throw in my dress and my accessories and shoes and bag and then head out the door. to grab a coffee and just ate some breakfast and let's get dressed so I'm going to be as I mentioned wearing this white dress from seven for all mankind okay so here's the dress I love it so much so now I just need to pick out shoes I could either go with a white sneaker or I could pick out a heel so I could go a little bit more fancy okay so I was thinking about these my Hermes Oran sandals the white ones but it might rain today, so I don't want to ruin them if it's gonna rain. So I was thinking, what else can I wear? And I just found these. This is a pair of like mule loafers from River Island. So I feel like this just might work for today. Okay, and then I paired that with this Poen bag because it's like almost, it is like the exact same tone as the shoes because the shoes are like a grayish with a gold hardware and so is the bag. So it's like having the shoes that are a little bit of an off colored tone but then pulling in the bag to like make it more cohesive I think really works. And then I did just put my hair back in a ponytail with a Chanel ribbon in my hair which I thought I thought would be cute. It is supposed to be very humid today so I didn't want to wear my hair down and it like gets all frizzy. Okay and then since we're gonna be in the sun I gotta accessorize with some sunglasses so I'm just going to bring my new Celine Sunnies. Okay earrings, got these Majuri gold hoops with the pearl and then I was thinking this pearl necklace but I'm not 100% sure. I don't know if it's too much, if it takes away. Lipstick, same one, just reapplying. Okay, yay! <laughs> and so this is the final look. Hello guys, good morning. So it is raining this morning, if you can tell. It's just pouring rain outside, so it's kind of like a cozy vibe. It's like a nice, cozy kind of Sunday indoors. But yesterday was so nice. So going to the US Open, we were watching the women's singles finals, and we got to see Coco Gauff compete with Arena, and I can't pronounce her last name, but they were both really amazing athletes. Um, we were rooting for Coco, of course, and she won, and it was just so cool to see. She's only 19, so like already being having that much talent and just winning something so big is was so exciting to watch, and it was also celebrating the 50th anniversary of equal prize money for both men and women. So Billie Jean King was there to present the award for her, so that was really cool. 
and it was just I mean this is my first time there so it was fun for me obviously to watch the tennis match I think it's cool how everyone is so silent and I'm just like silently like go 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 in my head you know just watching it um and there's just a lot of nice like food we got the honeydew drink which was good and I liked also obviously I loved all the fashion there were a lot of shops there was like a polo Ralph Lauren shop and they had cute like tennis skirts and tennis dresses and sweaters and stuff so that was like cute and um, just like a bunch of other things we had a really fun day and then we came back to Grand Central so we basically all met at the Grand Central took the 7 train over it went directly there to the stadium and then um, we did the same thing on the way back and it was an express 7 train back to Grand Central and we were like oh let's just like get dinner together just we weren't planning to do that but um, we just decided like let's all get dinner so we were looking for a place around Grand Central we ended up at the Smith which you know is a go-to we've all been there before many times and yeah it was good I got like a quinoa and kale with some salmon and so it was a nice way to end the night but this morning I just put in my laundry I'm about to go grocery shopping but I'm also like oh, do I want to go outside right now because it's really coming down I also feel like I'm channeling, I wasn't trying to, but I feel like I'm channeling what's the girl from Legally Blonde who's the brunette, uh, like Vivian or, yeah, Vivian I think, because I put on this headband and then I put on the pearl necklace and then with the white button down I'm like, I feel like I'm like Vivian today, which she's kind of, you know, not the favorite character, although they become friends in the end and I feel like that's sweet, but <laughs> anyways, <laughs> uh, so... Yeah, I need to go grocery shopping, just pick up a couple things just to prepare for the work week um, and also just for breakfast this morning. And then I wanted to do some shopping. I wanted to like go to the Zara and and other stories and Saison and like check out some new fall fall clothing for to get ready for the new fall season. But the weather is just really pouring. So maybe if it lets up a little bit, I think it's supposed to stop at some point this afternoon and maybe I'll run out then. But yeah, today is mostly just errands, getting things done, and maybe a little fun shopping later. Lightning strikes by my window, it's my chest right in the morning. We are currently in my bathroom and it is still pouring rain outside but I got this cool new device that I'm trying in here so this little pod also that's my laundry going in the background but it's Zima Dental and it's this little pod I just got a notification that the package was delivered and so like I ran down grabbed it and now I'm trying it out if anyone doesn't know I actually I had Invisalign when I was 16 and so, yeah, I still wear the retainers since then. Uh, not the same retainers, but, but once you have it, you basically have to wear them, um, you know, like to bed for like kind of the rest of your life. Um, but the Zima Dental thing is like a cleaner for the retainers. So if anyone needs something like that, I think it's pretty awesome. So I am just trying it out. I am reading the instructions here. Obviously, I got the pink one. <laughs> Okay, place the lid. Okay, place the submerge. Okay, plug the device in using only the dental pod supply cable. Well, duh. This. Okay. All right. Ah, so cool. Okay, so this is what it's doing. This is obviously not sponsored, by the way. I'm just trying this out, and I got, I got marketed it so many times, like by at least like the 15th time I was like okay I'm buying it um they're really persistent but I guess it goes to show that if some <laughs> enough times that the consumer will finally buy um so yeah so that's it that's this for me and I'll let you know my review okay so update on the Zima Dental pod that cleans retainers and um Invisalign and stuff it did not work <laughs> I feel like, I don't know, maybe it was just mine, or maybe it was, I don't know, I did it multiple times. I didn't just do it once, I did it like th 
three times and then I did like each like up and down individually and it just didn't work so <laughs> if anyone is getting marketed that as much as I was and you're thinking about it on the fence I don't know I don't think that it actually works it was expensive too it was like $90 so um yeah I might see if maybe I can return it or just figure something out but uh <sighs> Yeah, that's the update. Okay, and then what else is more perfect for a rainy day than baking? So Lyle and I are going to make some cardamom buns. looking a little bit better so I'm going to yeah. <laughs> I'm in Soho I'm going to look at Zara and maybe end other stories and just some other shops and uh, see what what's in new for fall also it is New York Fashion Week right now so there's a lot of cool looking people walking around I love just seeing all the outfits and just getting inspired that's one of the things that um, reminds me why I love living in New York so much like I love traveling too but then I come back to New York and I'm like I'm so glad I live here um, so yeah I'm just really happy and gonna check out some old fashion It's just rough cut with like threads dangling. There's a lot of that. And then a lot of on like menswear stuff, like menswear for women's wear. So I'm not really into that. And then Banana Republic was mostly home. The store is huge, so it's in the old H&M store. And um, it's very big, so there's a lot in there, but I just didn't see anything that really caught my eye. Um, but there's an Abercrombie and Fitch here now. This didn't used to be here. I'm on Broadway, um, not too far down between Prince and Spring. And um, a lot of stuff seems to have popped up while I was away. So I'm gonna go into Abercrombie and uh, keep shopping around.
success, I found two pieces from Cezanne and I'm going to show them to you. I felt like it was fun to be just like back shopping around Soho, doing my, my little thing I always do. There were so many shops that I visited where I was like, I just, there's nothing in here that I want. It was like they had new fall collections out, but it was either just not really my style or just pieces that I feel like are so repetitive and nothing really that was new and exciting to me. And I, like I tried on a lot of pieces too where I felt like, okay, um, I like this, but I don't love it. So I feel like when you don't love it, there's no pur purpose in buying it or there's no point in buying it because you really should just save the money for the things that you truly, really, really love. You know, it's not good to just buy to buy, obviously. But yeah, so I was having no luck at any of the stores. And then the last one I visited was Saison. And you guys know that I love them. I've been a huge fan of them for a long time. And I just feel like their stuff is very feminine and it's also good quality. So I think after just being in Zara, which is obviously really bad quality, like they're not even having the bottom of their shirts anymore. <laughs> and then Banana Republic, which is like very one specific style. And then Abercrombie just had a really long line for the fitting room and it was not moving at all. And I was like, oh, I can't stand here forever. And then and other stories, I tried on a bunch of stuff, but nothing was really hitting the mark. You know, it was like a lot of tops that were just too like too much fabric at the bottom because most of the top like I wear a lot of skirts and like pants I don't really wear jeans and it's like I couldn't tuck any of them in there was just too much fabric everywhere <sighs> but then oh Cezanne they were just so so perfect and so wonderful there was actually a lot of things that I wanted to get from Cezanne I took pictures of a couple of the things that I didn't buy in case maybe I want to come back and buy them at another time. They're obviously a higher price point than a Zara um, or even a, than, than a, and other stories. So um, it's not the type of place where you can <laughs> at least, and then I can't buy as many items because each item is more expensive on its own. But I think from the quality, it's really worth it. And I always shop for pieces too that are just, I think, going to last in my closet for a long time and just be those classic items so this one i felt was one of them this is a button-up kind of cardigan top but it has this you know kind of cut out lacy beautiful um fabric that makes it up with so many tiny little details even on the collar here you can see and the buttons themselves are this pearly like a mother of pearl kind of button and even like something as small like when I was putting this on these clasps these stretchy little elastics that go around the buttons to hold them in place are even better quality than the other things that I was trying on and I just felt like this fit perfectly and I was so happy that I found it I actually wasn't even going to try it on and then I had found other things to try on and I was like oh yeah fine if I'm already going to the fitting room I'll grab this one and I put it on and I was like oh I love that and then the second thing I found was another cardigan actually um but this one is so me I feel like you guys <laughs> like be like yes Taylor this is a very you cardigan it is a baby pink and it has the most darling little sweet cut out like lace details around the collar and then down the front and I just thought this was too good to pass up so I grabbed that one too and I'm going to try these put these on really quick just to show you them on okay so this is the first cardigan and it's just so pretty like it fits me perfectly obviously I'm just wearing like you know sort of like a bralette top underneath but you could obviously do a tank top or a uh, more of like a bandeau sort of top if you wanted to but yeah I just love it I think it's cute it fits perfectly it's kind of structured which I like so I was thinking I would wear this to like a nice dinner in the fall or the winter time uh, like something where I want to be wearing long sleeves because I want to be warm but I don't want to be but I don't want to compromise my style either so I don't I, you know, a time when you want to go out to dinner, 
you don't want to wear a chunky sweater but you just want to wear a nice kind of looking top but still be warm enough this is that <laughs> So yeah, I love it. I just started on with this skirt just as an example, but this I think can, since it's neutral could be paired with a lot of things in my closet. So I'll definitely be getting a lot of use out of this. And uh, yeah, I just think that it's so pretty. And I've been wearing my pearl necklace that I got in Capri and I feel like <laughs> it looks kind of nice with it. Um, but obviously don't always have to have that. I think it'd be nice with like a long gold necklace too. Okay, I'm loving this lighting by the way. It's like all moody lighting <laughs> but uh yeah okay so this is the pink cardigan i love it the, the little tank top i was going to show style it with is currently wet it's hanging to dry it was doing laundry today but um i just paired it with this one underneath so just ignore this little ruffle here but i think it's really cute i mean obviously you can pair this style this so many ways i think that this also be, would be really cute with a pair of white denim jeans not like white white but more of an off-white like a cream more of like this color it's a little better for the fall than a white white which is more summer um and yeah it's really it's so cute um and you can wear it buttoned up as well so that's like a whole other thing that obviously you can do and i think it's so cute but okay those are my little fall fashion purchases for today <laughs> And it is uh, about 7 p.m. Oh no, it's 6.45. So I'm gonna start thinking about dinner. I think I'm gonna make a warm soup. I have this one that I've made a lot, actually. I saved the recipe because I like it. It has a lot of beans in it, so that's sort of the protein. And just like a very, very basic, typical soup, like carrots, celery. Uh, it's got some tahini in there and some... Uh, lemon adds a nice flavor to it so yeah I'm gonna make that yeah just enjoy the evening for dinner it actually turned out really good so that was delicious and then I realized I forgot to do the bun reveal <laughs> so the cardamom buns actually came out really good we froze most of them for future consumption but uh, we have a couple of them out here so they came out looking like this they're very good they're like sweet cardamom -y and like soft and doughy and just delicious so that was a fun rainy day activity today <laughs> Also, update on the skincare. I haven't really been using the Liz Earl Cleanse and Polish that much since I've been back. I think I've used it a couple times, but I'm not that impressed with it as I thought that I would be. However, I have been using the Elizabeth Arden, Arden Vitamin C Ceramide Capsules. I've been using them every morning because obviously vitamin C is an antioxidant, it fights off free radicals, and it's good to put them on, put it on every day. I only got the short, uh, the short one though, so I only have so many days left, but after that I'll see what else I can find. Um, but yeah, that's a skincare update. I'm just going to pretty much do my skincare routine really quickly, and then that's it then that's basically it for the weekend um my hair by the way is in this teeny tiny ponytail uh when i got the extensions taken out there was a lot of hair <sighs> lost so uh yeah that's the deal the deal with that now <laughs> but uh yeah i'm just gonna wash my face real quick so Basically, the like my go-to nighttime skincare routine. Okay, I've been doing skin cycling. So I do exfoliate, retinol, recover, recover. So first night, I use Bioderma micellar water to remove my makeup. And then I cleanse with my Herbivore Pink Cloud Cleanser. So I do those two every single night, no matter what's happening next. And then night one, I use the Paula's Choice Exfoliator, and then I follow with my Ambriolis Late Creme Concentrate for my moisturizer. And then night two, I'll do these two again, and then I'll go in with my retinol. So either this 
or I also just got the A313. Oh, this is the Glossier Universal Pro Retinol. This is a good one to start with. And then this A313 is from the French pharmacies. That's like a French pharmacy classic. And then night three would be again, starting with these. And then this is Recover. So Recover, um, I then move on to my Caudalie toner. It's like a grape rose water kind of spray. And then I will use a hyaluronic acid. This is from The Ordinary. And then my moisturizer, which is the Event Cold Cream. So I'll do that night three and night four, same thing as night three. And then I start over again. So tonight actually is night one. Um, so I'm going to do my Paula's Choice Exfoliator. I found that this is like a good way to work in exfoliating and using um, retinol if you're not already doing that which I've I've read and like you know heard that once you're in your 30s it's good to be doing both of those things so these are two that I really like especially if you have sensitive skin these are both really um, like mild so uh, yeah I'm <laughs> gonna do that bioderma okay face is wet herbivore pink cloud cleanser i love this one okay all cleansed and face is dry so time to exfoliate i was actually just as i was cleansing my skin um just like feeling my skin with my hands i was like oh yeah it's definitely time to exfoliate and exfoliating especially a liquid exfoliator used to scare me because it's like an it's a liquid exfoliator is acids um, so that kind of, the thought of that used to scare me, but when I worked at Glossier, we released an, a liquid exfoliator, and so I learned a lot more about it and how it's actually a lot better for your skin than an exfoliator that has little micro things in it, because that can actually, like, rip your, your skin versus this. All right, and then just moisturizer. So sometimes when I use this, I like to use a lighter moisturizer. So that's why I'm using the Embryolise Lay Creme Concentrate. Um, some people might say that this is, is not light, but to me it's light because the Aven Cold Cream is so thick. Um, I realized I didn't haven't really mentioned that either because I recommended the Aven Cold Cream to a friend recently and she's like, it's really thick. And I'm like, oh yeah, <laughs> forgot to mention that. It is super thick, but it's great in the winter and your skin it just i don't know it really kind of like locks in all the moisture and it's worked for me so uh, i love it so much but uh yeah that's the whole skincare routine <laughs> okay so that's it for now i'm going to end the vlog here but i really appreciate you guys watching i hope that you enjoyed it as always don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and check out the Fashion Squirrel as well over on Instagram. And hopefully I will see you guys next time. Mm -hmm.